Namaste, my name is Rui Zimmerer. I'm an international meditation master. Today I want to speak happiness. Happiness is a huge business. 4.3 trillion. Yes. <laughs> and today the wealthy Western countries proclaiming that they are the happiest countries in the world. <laughs> that is a joke. It is so easy to become happy. Yes. You just buy the right tooth cream, and that is my daughter. Mm? To have white tooth. Okay. Drink coffee, for sure, and relax with a the beer. Then you're happy. And if you want to become more happy, just buy a car. Okay. <laughs> I remember when I was coming back from India 30 years ago. To um, Germany, that the Indian were really happy. Everywhere happy people. And in Germany, over frustrated people. And today, Germany is the, one of the most happiest countries in the world. <laughs> Believe that. No? When I traveled to Nepal, I saw the people suffering. Oh. And in Tibet, everywhere happy people the same in Sri Lanka. And I said, there must be something wrong. And the reason was, Nepal was in a civil war. And so they were suffering. And I found out that the people need progress. So the economy went to the roof in Tibet, India, and Sri Lanka. And in the Western world, like in Europe, it was over 15 years that the net income was sinking. That was the reason why they were frustrated. And even until today, it's sinking every year. That is not progress. No? So if you live a simple life with less income, and if you are healthy, then every little thing what you gain makes you happy. You see, if I give you a smartphone, you will be happy. But if you come from a basic country, rather not. Okay. Then the people need to think it over. What? to become or to be happy. Again, 30 years ago, everywhere I saw healthy people in India and strong. And I, I admired that very much. They were happy, healthy, but poor. Hmm? So money was not needed. No? And today you go to India, you see sick people everywhere. From the poisoning of the population through industrial processed food. Okay. And the rich, wealthy, and corrupt people in India squeeze out the Indian population. They are over rich, and the other become a little bit angry. Okay, this doesn't make people happy. No? Okay, I think it's over. So, and the people had been before independent and healthy, and so happy. No? Then I had the next insight. When I went from Thailand to the USA and then Mexico, so in, again in the USA, frustrated people and so on. In Mexico, not so. So the population of Mexico have maybe a quarter of the income of the USA. But they have enough food and they're happy, yes. So if you don't need so much money to become ha happy, it's reverse. It's not so. 
Then, if you compare the cold countries, what proclaim today that they are the most happiest countries in the world, <laughs> it is a joke. So the people have more than five months in the year snow and very less sunlight. Okay. So the people are suffering because of the lack of sunlight and drinking alcohol like crazy because of the lack of sunlight. Makes sense, no? Depression and bad weather fit perfectly. The people need sunlight to be happy. And after these fake statistics, the people in the coldest countries, like Finland, like Finland, this joke, are the happiest. <laughs> it is the opposite. Never ever trust government made statistics. Never. Government you cannot trust. And the statistics, oh my god. <laughs> okay. This is all what I want to say. Thank you that I could speak with you and bye.